Meeting with Good the afternoon. president, I believe uh, the president has been pretty clear on this. He's got his four pillars. Uh, one of them includes amnesty. We can debate that all day long, but that certainly is one of the four. The other three have to do with both legal and illegal immigration and tightening things up. Uh, just today, the president says, hey, if you break into our country illegally, you must necessarily be arrested. I think most constitutional and conservative people, even most Republicans, garden variety, would uh, agree with that. What is your message on this to the president? Well, I've liked the Good Lap Bill. I'm a co-sponsor of the Good Lap Bill with a number of my colleagues. I would debate you whether or not there is amnesty in the Good Lap Bill, uh, because I think you need a number of things before you get to amnesty. But you look at what we do with the DACA population, for example, in the Good Lap Bill, there is no special path to citizenship. citizenship. You're taking a look at the kids who would not have had the mens rea or the state of mind element to break any law, and you're providing a status. But you're doing it in the context of making sure we're not going to have this problem again in 5, 10, or 20 years by securing the border. Uh, which is really what we should have been doing in 1986 and what we should have done in 2006 with the Secure Fence Act, which, again, we backed away from back in 2006 before I got here. But border security, border security, border, border security, that has to be the touchstone of any kind of reform that we're going to be doing. But still, there is, a, and, and we can have a minor debate here uh, on uh, the terminology here of amnesty. I believe that granting any illegal in this country some sort of pass other than deportation, in my opinion, is a form of amnesty. A path to what? But a path to a, 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 but path, a path to stay to in this country. There are millions and millions of Americans okay. who agree with me, Congressman, that any illegal in this country well, should right. be deported. You're, you're absolutely. Well, again, you have a five-year-old who came here and who's been here for 20 years, ah. and you would deport that person when that person did not have the mens rea or state of mind element when they got here when they were. Well, we're the nation of laws, or we're not. But you do not want to give that. But you, but you don't want to give that person a legal uh, citizenship status because that would be unfair to people who have been doing it the legal way around the world. Well, uh, you know, then why don't we put teeth in this thing? And if you, you, you give away one thing and take away another, why don't we put some teeth in the legislation is, that says, for example, okay, we're going to allow these grown-ups, they're not kids, I'm, I'm so tired of hearing this. They are grown-ups. Most of them are grown-ups up to age, I think, 30 or 31. Okay, so it, it, why not put some teeth in the thing by saying, okay, we're going to allow these people to stay, but their parents, we're going to use this database to deport their parents. How about that? Nobody's talking about their but, parents. Well, that's, yeah, yeah. Well, you, that's a great point because we're not talking about those parents, and we should right. understand what would be happening. That's why we. That's why we try. That's why we end chain migration, for example, in All the right. Good Lap Bill. It's why we end the diversity. Another issue: we end the diversity lottery in the Good Lap Bill. All right, fair enough. Uh, would you agree that DHS, in this predicament right now, is simply doing its job, and that is enforcing the law? Well, they are enforcing the law. You have a, a, an issue with something called the, the consent decree out there, the Flores dissent, consent decree that does not allow uh, minor children to be held longer than 20 days. And so as a consequence of holding the adults, if you, you, if you can hold the adults but they can't hold the kids, well, they are going to be separated. So there should be a resolution to make sure that that doesn't happen. Uh, and you want to expedite these cases as quickly as possible. You shouldn't be having somebody sit in an asylum process for, for, for years. I think they have a hard case asserting asylum, given what the asylum law says. And these cases should be resolved as expeditiously as possible, where possible, keep people together. And, and then when the adjudication is made on the asylum request, which should be, frankly, denied in most circumstances, they'd be returned to the country they came from together as a family unit. Do you, and we're hearing, of course, now there's uh, some legislation, even Senator Ted Cruz is, is proffering some possible legislation on this matter. So if you step back and you look at the big picture, talking about legislation to accommodate the illegal children of illegal aliens who violate our sovereignty, we're talking about legislation to accommodate the DACA people whose parents and themselves violated our sovereignty. Isn't it dangerous to, to tread in these waters right now, Congressman, where we are looking at oh, I think changing the laws to accommodate the few who aren't even United States citizens? Now, you look at Senator Cruz's proposal, for example, I would want to expedite the processing of these claims. Uh, if these people came in illegally, do not have grounds on asylum, they should not be in this country. So they should be uh, immediately repatriated to the country they came from. And that's the premise of the Cruz legislation. Well, th that would be good, right? But, but, but we know what happens sometime it, with absolutely. legislation like this. If they're allowed to be released within our society and give it a notice to appear, and they go off with some family member and they disappear uh, into our fabric. Want to see more videos like this? 
Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.